Okay, Math 1, 2A.8, rotations with points. So to begin, we want to make sure that we have all these formulas down. Um, I believe that all of these have gone been gone over before, but I think it would be a good idea to have them all in one spot, like on a note card or on one piece of paper. Um, so if you don't have these all in one spot, I would pause the video, write them down in one spot, and then continue. All right, number one. We're writing the rule to describe the transformation. Just like before, we, we really don't care about all the points. We care about one of the points. So let's look at one of the points, maybe u and u prime. So u goes from negative 3, negative 2 to u prime being negative 2, 3. So the question is, what, what happened there, right? Um, we could say, well, this is x y and it went to well y went to the front right the negative 2 went to the front x went to the back but it's also a negative x right because it was a negative 3 so it's a positive 3 now and then we want to look and see well what what does this represent um, on our on our rules that we have up there which one is represented by by this and let me look there I think it will be a 90 degree clockwise turn yep so it'll be a 90 degree clockwise. And there we are. So you can probably see there that it's going to be very beneficial to have all of those, um, all those formulas written down in one spot. Number two. We're looking at t and t prime. So t is at negative 5, negative 4. And it goes to negative 4, 5. So if this is x and y, um, the negative 4 is in the second spot, the y spot. And it ends up going to the front. So it'll be y in the front. And then x is negative 5. It goes to the second spot and it becomes positive. So it'll be a negative x. So this one's actually going to be just like the last one. It is a 90 degree clock rotation. Right. I'm just saying clock instead of clockwise, cause, just because it's it's faster to write. All right, number three. Again, I want to just look at one of these. Um, R is at negative three, negative one, and it turns into one negative three. Now, just as a side note here, um, for most of these, because we're doing rotations and sometimes it deals with negatives, I'm not going to deal or I'm not going to pick one that has a zero in it, right? So whenever you're picking your points, you might not be able to pick the first one. This one, it turns out to where we could pick the R. Um, but if it has a zero, don't use that one, right? Because then you can't tell if the zero went negative, right? Because negative zero and zero are the same thing. So back to the problem. Um, so this is like x, y. You always start with x and y. And then our y is a negative 1. And we end up with a positive 1. So it'll be a negative y. And then x is a negative 3. And we end up with a negative 3. So there we are. So we have negative y, x. That would be a 90 degree counterclockwise. Right. And we could also say that this is a 270 degree clockwise. Right. We're thinking about, um, just to explain that again, I think I did in, a little, in another video, but if we have a point up here and we rotate 90 degrees clockwise, it's going to be down here. If we rotate counterclockwise, we go 90, 180, 270. So this would be 270 counter. So they're the same thing, right? So that's a good thing to know, to remember. Number four, um, S and S prime. S is at 3, 1, and it goes to negative 3, negative 1. Um, so we have x, y, and it looks like they both just went negative. So it's going to be negative x, negative y. 
So what would that be? That would be a 180 degree rotation. And we can say this is clockwise or counter. All right, because they'd be the same thing. Number five, we're supposed to find the coordinates of the vertices of each figure after the transformation. So to begin, I'm going to read what they have. This one is a 90 degree counterclockwise. And then I'm going to go to my formulas and I'm going to write down which, which formula I need. Um, 90 degrees counterclockwise is going to be x, y, negative y, x. So x is at negative 4, negative 1. x prime is going to be at well, negative y, so it'll be negative, negative 1, so positive, and then x, so just negative 4. For now on, I'm not going to write down that first point. I'll just write down my arrow and say w prime. Well, I start off with negative y, so it'll be a negative 4, and then x will be negative 2, or it'll stay negative 2. V prime, I have a negative y, so it'll be a negative 3, and then 0. There we are. Number 6, rotation 180 degrees. This takes x and y, and it goes to negative x, negative y. I think that one's pretty easy to remember. So w prime will be 2, negative 4 x prime will be 2, negative 5, y prime will be negative 3, negative 4, and z prime will be negative 2, negative 1, right? All I did there was I swapped the signs. Moving on, number 7. Um, another rotation 180 degrees, nice. Um, so this takes x and y, and it goes to negative x, negative y. So I'll have Q prime will be 4, negative 2. R prime will be 4, negative 4. S prime will be at 1, negative 2. And T prime will be at 3, 0. These should be pretty easy for you to do. Or at least the 180 degrees, I think, should be pretty easy. You just flip the sign. If it's negative, make it positive. If it's positive, make it, make it negative. Number eight, rotation counterclockwise. What is counterclockwise? We say x, y goes to negative y, x. Is that the same one as a number? Yep, that is the same one. Well, the process still works the same if you were to do it clockwise. So q prime, I start off with negative y, so that'll be a negative one, and then x is negative two. R prime will be negative 3, negative 3, right? My first negative 3 comes from the second, but it makes it negative, right? S prime, it will be at negative 4, negative 1, and T prime will be at negative 3, 2. So hopefully these are relatively easy for you to do. Um, yeah. Make sure you have these written somewhere. These will all be good things, um, especially for like tests and whatnot. Um, this would be a good thing to have, have near you. On this worksheet, you'll only be using that second bunch, but um, I think it's good to have the rest of them written in the same place. So, all right, that's all.